1. The Secret of Miracle Power for Infinite Riches It is your God-given birthright to be rich, which means you are here to express the fullness of life along all the lines for glorious living. You exist on earth to lead a happy, joyous, and glorious life. In other words, the life more abundant. Infinite riches are omnipresent, and you should begin to realize that the treasure house of infinity is within your own subconscious depths. Begin now to extract from that marvelous gold mine within you everything you need. Money, friends, a lovely home, beauty, companionship, and all the blessings of life. Whatever you want, you can bring forth when you apply the proper technique, that is, when you apply the know-how of accomplishment. David Ho, an old friend of mine, told me about two geologists who had graduated from the same college and who had been brought up in the same town. One knew about the mind's treasure house within him, the other didn't, but he depended on externals such as physical appearances, conditions, and general topography of the soil. This man spent three weeks in a certain area in Utah with all the modern equipment of his profession and found nothing. The other man with the right mental equipment followed up in the same area and found in the first hour a vein of uranium and a vein of silver. Where was the wealth, the riches? I believe you will conclude that the real riches were within the mind of the second geologist who believed in a guiding principle within his subconscious which would lead him straight to the hidden wealth. The Greatest Secret in All the World one man recently said to me that the greatest secret being unfolded today was in the genetic field and that now, as a consequence, modern science could alter man's basic genes so that we could create as many Einsteins, Beethovens, Edisons, etc. as we would like. He failed to see that the living spirit, God, is within man, which can't be changed. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Man is more than his body, his hereditary characteristics, his family tree and the color of his skin, eyes, and shape of his body. Man is transformed only one way, and that is by the transformations of his mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 Others say that interplanetary travel and nuclear fission represent the greatest secrets of our times. The greatest secret is that the kingdom of God is within man, which means that infinite intelligence, boundless wisdom, infinite power, infinite love, and the answer to every problem under the sun are locked in his own subconscious mind. Man is looking for the greatest secret in the world everywhere, but within himself, Begin now to tap these tremendous powers within you, and you will begin to lead a full and happy life, based on God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verse 17, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly, John chapter 10, verse 10. Your Right to Be Rich it is normal and natural for you to desire prosperity, success, achievement, and recognition in your life. You should have all the money you need to do what you want to do and when you want to do it. There is no virtue in poverty, because poverty is a mental disease and it should be abolished from the face of the earth. Wealth is a state of mind. Likewise, poverty is a state of mind. We will never eradicate all the slums in the world until we first wipe out the slums and belief in poverty and lack in the mind of man. During private counseling and when talking to people in foreign lands as well as during interviews with people following lectures, both here and abroad, I hear the constant old refrain, There is nothing that $25,000 or $50,000 wouldn't cure in my life. This refers, of course, to those who suffer from pecuniary embarrassment and who are financially handicapped. They fail to realize that wealth is really a thought image in the mind and that if they follow the simple techniques as outlined in this audiobook in using their subconscious mind, wealth will flow to them in avalanches of abundance. It is your right and that of your family to have 
excellent food, good clothes, an ideal home, and all the money you need to buy the good things of life. You need a period every day for meditation, prayer, relaxation, and recreation, and the time and facilities necessary should be available to you. To prosper means that you begin to advance mentally, spiritually, intellectually, socially, financially, and along all lines. How He Discovered the Riches of His Mind Recently I talked with a man who said that he had had a streak of bad luck and misfortune. He owned a home, but it was mortgaged to the hilt. He didn't have enough money to buy the basic necessities of life for his family. Also, he could not meet the mortgage payment or the grocery bills. His medical expenses were being paid by his brother, and in his own words, his life was a mess. Tapping the Riches of His Subconscious I explained to this man how the infinite intelligence within his subconscious could reveal to him everything he needed to know at all times, that he could receive inspiration, guidance, new creative ideas, and a solution to financial problems. I added that if he used his subconscious correctly, it also would provide all the money he needed, and that he could experience financial freedom beyond his fondest dreams. Accordingly, I gave him two abstract ideas, wealth and success. He agreed that wealth is everywhere, and that he was born to succeed and to win in the game of life, as the infinite power within him cannot fail. At my suggestion he relaxed, became quiet at night, and repeated slowly, feelingly, and with deep understanding, Wealth, success. Wealth, success. Taking these ideas into the deep of sleep, he understood that whatever he impressed on his subconscious would be magnified and multiplied on the screen of space. The secret is that his last waking concept prior to sleep is etched on his subconscious mind. Each night as he repeated these two words, wealth, success, he was activating and releasing the latent powers of his subconscious, and the law of his subconscious being compulsive he was compelled to express riches and success. How His Subconscious Responded This man, recognizing that the source of his supply was his own subconscious mind, proved that when used in the right way, it never fails, and in unforeseen ways meets his needs regardless of circumstances. He was offered $25,000 cash for a lot which he had had for ten years, and for which he was in arrears for monthly payments, and which he had been unable to sell for over a year. His lot was needed for a new building, which the purchasers wished to construct at once. He discovered that infinite riches are all around him, as well as within him. The thought in his mind was the connecting link which united him with the treasure house of infinity. Infinite intelligence within your subconscious can only do for you what it can do through you. Your thought and feeling control your destiny. I can assure you that this man, as he follows the technique I gave him, will never be wanting all the days of his life. The Riches of the Listening Ear and Understanding Heart Recently I had a wonderful letter from a widow who listens every morning to my radio program. The following is the essence of the letter. She pointed out that her husband had died a year previously and had left no insurance. She had three children to support, the house was mortgaged, and she had only $500 in the bank. Friends paid the funeral expenses for her deceased husband. She wrote, I heard you quote from the Bible, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. And you elaborated on this by telling us that if we tune in on the infinite within us and believe in our hearts, that no matter what it is we really need to bless us, comfort us, provide for us, or inspire us, the Divine Presence would respond as it is written. Before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 Quote, I sat down and began to think of God supplying all my needs and hearing me as I was praying, and a great sense of peace and harmony came over me. About two hours later, in walked my brother-in-law, who said to me that he knew of my predicament, and that he also was aware of the spending habits and profligacy of his brother. 
he told her he wanted to take care of her and the three small children, assuring her that neither she nor they would ever want for the good things of life. He gave her a $10,000 cashier's check and set up an arrangement with his attorney and accountant to see to it that a weekly sum of money was sent to his sister-in-law for the rest of her life. This was in the form of a trust fund, legally instituted, which took care of the children also. This widow, recognizing that God supplies all her needs, and that even before she asks, the answer is within her, proved to herself the existence of the inexhaustible reservoir within her. The secret of promotion and riches was within him. A young attorney who had lost a few cases was despondent gloomy, and full of self-criticism and self-condemnation. He found himself with a lot of financial reverses and was deeply in debt. I explained to him that his thoughts are definitely creative and that conditions, circumstances, events and experiences accurately reflect his habitual thinking and imagery. I pointed out that if his thoughts produced lack and limitation, likewise thoughts of peace, success, prosperity, right action and abundance sustained regularly and systematically would reproduce themselves after their kind in the same manner as men do not reap grapes from thorns or figs from thistles. For the law is that man is what he thinks all day long. Moreover, it is true that one spiritual thought is more powerful than ten thousand negative thoughts, and that thoughts you originate feelingly and knowingly will create for you whatever you wish to experience from this day forward. I laid out a program for him to follow and asked him to remind himself frequently of the riches of the infinite within his subconscious mind. Accordingly, I gave him the following prayer technique. He affirmed slowly, quietly, and feelingly as follows, three to four times a day. Today is God's day. I choose harmony, success, prosperity, abundance, security, and divine right action. Infinite intelligence reveals to me better ways to give greater service. I am a mental and spiritual magnet, irresistibly attracting to me men and women who are blessed, comforted, and satisfied with my counsel and decisions on their behalf. I am divinely guided all day long, and whatever I do will prosper. Divine justice and divine law and order govern all my undertakings, and whatever I begin will result in success. I know the law of my mind, and I am fully aware that all these truths I am reiterating are now sinking into my subconscious mind, and they will come forth after their kind. It is wonderful. He made it a special point never to deny what he affirmed, and when thoughts of lack, fear, or self-criticism came to him, he would immediately reverse the thought by affirming, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 23, verse 1 a few years have passed by, and today this young man has gone up the ladder of success. He is now a prominent judge. When your thoughts are God's thoughts, God's power is with your thoughts of good. How a Salesman Hit the Jackpot A real estate salesman who attends my lectures on Sunday mornings and listens to my radio program said to me that his sales were falling off badly and that he had incurred a lot of financial obligations and found himself deeply in debt. He added that he had not made a sale of property or a home in eight months. In talking to him, I discovered that he was envious, jealous, and highly critical of the sales techniques and processes of other salesmen who were making almost daily sales. I pointed out to him that jealousy and envy generated by himself would tend to impoverish him and attract all sorts of lack, limitation, and misery to him. He was made to see that his thought is definitely creative and that what he thinks and wishes for the other he will create in his own experience for the simple reason that he is the only thinker in his universe and is definitely responsible for the way he thinks about others as well as about himself. He then reversed his attitude of mind and began to wish sincerely for all his associates, success, achievement, wealth and all the blessings of life. His constant prayer is, I am a child of the infinite, and his riches flow to me freely, joyously, and endlessly. I am enriched in all ways with happiness, peace, wealth, success, and outstanding sales. I am now stirring up the riches of my deeper mind, and rich results follow. 
I know I shall reap what I sow, for it is written, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job chapter 22 verse 28 Today he is a sales manager, and is able and capable of instructing others how to sell wisely, judiciously, and constructively. The book of Proverbs says, Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 18 Meditation for Realizing the Abundant Life Repeat the following meditation to help solve your problems for abundant living. I know that to prosper means to grow spiritually along all lines. God is prospering me now in mind, body, and affairs. God's ideas constantly unfold within me, bringing to me health, wealth, and perfect divine expression. I thrill inwardly as I feel the life of God vitalizing every atom of my being. I know that God's life is animating, sustaining, and strengthening me now. I am now expressing a perfect, radiant body full of vitality, energy, and power. My business or profession is a divine activity, and since it is God's business, it is successful and prosperous. I imagine and feel an inner wholeness functioning through my body, mind, and affairs. I give thanks and rejoice in the abundant life. Chapter Points to Remember 1. You are here to lead the abundant life, a life full of happiness, joy, health, and rich living. Begin now to release the riches of the treasure house within you. 2. The real riches are within your subconscious mind. A geologist who believed in the guiding principle of his subconscious mind found the treasure in the earth the first hour. His associate, lacking this faith, had worked in that area for three weeks and had found nothing. 3. The greatest secret in all the world is that God indwells man, but the average man is looking everywhere but within himself for wealth, success, happiness, and abundance. God is the life principle, the infinite intelligence, and infinite power within man, available instantly to all men through the medium of man's thought. 4. Poverty is a disease of the mind. Belief in poverty and lack produce lack and limitation. Wealth is a state of mind. Believe in the law of riches and you shall receive. Before we will ultimately banish the slums and poverty, we must first banish the slums and false beliefs in the mind of man. 5. You can tap the riches of your subconscious by claiming guidance, abundance, wealth, security, and right action. Make a habit of meditating on these truths, and your subconscious will respond accordingly. 6. If you lull yourself to sleep every night with two ideas, wealth and success, knowing that by repeating them you are activating the latent powers of your deeper mind, you will be compelled to express wealth and success. 7. Infinite intelligence in your subconscious can only do for you what it can do through you. Your thought and feeling control your destiny. 8. When you believe that the nature of the infinite intelligence in your subconscious mind is to respond to the nature of your request, the answers will always come to you and in ways you know not of. 9. Your thoughts are creative. Each thought tends to manifest itself in your life. Thoughts of promotion, riches, expansion and achievement, provided you do not deny them subsequently, come forth after their kind. You promote yourself. You answer your own prayer because it is done unto you as you believe. 10. Be careful when you affirm wealth, success, right action and promotion that you do not subsequently deny what you affirm. That would be like mixing an acid with an alkali and you would get an inert substance. In other words, stop neutralizing your good. Thoughts are things. What you feel you attract and what you imagine you become. 11. Be sure that you are not envious or jealous of the success, riches, and wealth of others. 
your thought is creative, and if you are envious or critical of those who have amassed wealth and honors, you will impoverish yourself along all lines. Your thought is creative, and what you think about the other, you tend to create in your own experience. 12. Whatever you really feel to be true and so decree in your life will definitely come to pass. Decree riches, health, beauty, security, and right action. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Job chapter 22 verse 28 13. Use the meditation at the end of the chapter to realize a more abundant life.